Tom here from Lawrence Systems and Rack Studs sent me a bag of these. Unannounced, we, we are happy to have them, but I wanna break them so you don't have to. So you don't end up with a piece of equipment laying on the floor because you put something in too heavy. I wanna know how much will these handle, what kind of weight. Now normally, when these install, and I have my little sample piece of rack here, if you have something that's fully installed front and back, you're just gonna be testing the strength they can have handle up and down. But I wanted to know specifically with a tray, which seems a pretty popular solution, please put trays in so you're not just stacking things on top of switches. But if you have a heavy switch, they have like a pull to them the way they wanna flex and the way they wanna pull back. And today we've got all these weights set up on the floor over here and this installed, we installed it properly, so to speak. We didn't want to put it so it fell inside. We have it falling outside, but that also means we reversed the way the rack studs are, so we're properly testing of whether or not, essentially what I think this might happen, this is pure speculation, that they uh, will pull out when we put enough weight on there. Now we're going to figure out just how much weight that is, and uh, this is by no means scientific. This is just uh, me being curious, we'll document how much weight was on here, but uh, it, we're not gonna probably know exactly where the failure is, but we're gonna get a pretty good idea of at least what will go on there. And uh, before we go into breaking some studs, let's first. If you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. We have 25 pounds on there. That's uh, Steve's going to help set the weights in there. Steve likes lifting weights. Uh, why not do it for work? my weights. The inner Steve's weights. He brought these from home. So there's 25 pounds on this shelf so far. So let's stick a few more pounds on there, Steve. What do you want? Uh, what, uh, you tell me. I, no, we can probably, I feel as though we can go another 25. What do you think? If I was going to do that, I'd say, well, let's take that off and do a 35. All right. It definitely holds 25 on this rack. Let's go to 35. We're going to 35 here. Ooh, the 35 pounds holding. All right. What's, 45? We're going to go 45. <laughs> the rack moved. I, I don't know. Those studs, are they just forming a little bit? I don't know. I'm All right. the shelf flex. The shelf is flexing. We're not sure what's going to break first. This is, we're learning as you're watching this video. So this is, uh, this is not staged. All right. Stage some more weight on it though. <laughs> Oh, we're at 60. 65. 65 pounds. I'm impressed. I feel, I, I, I'm going to watch as you set this on there. 67 and a half. 67 and a half pounds. Now, I don't have the scientific measurement to know exactly how much pressure is put on there. This is creating a lot of leverage as it tilts it essentially this way it's pulling the rack studs very oh wow what okay they're definitely the rack studs oh, are oh yeah yeah they're <laughs> bowing a little bit this one's really starting to pull so this is what the rack stud looks like and uh you can kind of see it from here it's it's no longer aligned so we're we're realizing it's uh definitely getting ready to snap so hopefully we're gonna put the camera in slow motion mode and hopefully get the snapping 80 75. Oh, 75? Okay. Wow, I, I feel like we're about to watch a rack stud fly. I'm watching it. It feels like it's just forming a lot more now. Oh! Oh! 80. Oh, hold it's, on, hold on. It's tilting too much. 80? Yeah, well, it's 80, but now the 80's moved forward. We're a little off-center. We're a little off-center. Okay, well, here. Hold on, stick something in the hole so they don't slide down. No. No? Put the 10 on it. Put the 10? All right. Oh, yeah, we can eat something, duh. Yeah. <laughs> well, the rack studs are reaching their limit. Hold on. What's this now? 80. 80, okay. That's a 45 and a 35 plate. All right, 85, 80, all right. They're I'm just scared. forming. <laughs> um, I, this is going to break. This is getting tense. We should have done this as a live stream. Oh. 80. <laughs> <laughs> 
85. 85 pounds, that's where these break. All right, we have our answer. Now, the question's going to be, and we're gonna drop this 85 pounds on here, and we're gonna test the standard rack nuts. Uh, rack, cage nuts, rack nut? Yeah, cage nuts. Cage nuts, we're gonna test the standard ones real quick. So we're gonna kind of reset for this, but that was great, and that was actually rather loud. My ears are ringing. <laughs> the project has been reset with proper metal ones, and uh, we are just gonna jump right to what, 80 pounds on this? Yeah. We're gonna jump right to it because we know they'll at least hold that. We'll see where these ones break or just bend the hell out of my rack. <laughs> We're not sure which is gonna happen. I can see it bowing our rack a little bit here. It is. I have a feeling this That's is- 90. We're at 90. Just make it an even 100. Yeah. 105. There we go, 105, because that fits in there without sliding off. All right, we're at 105. I think I wouldn't leave a server sitting on a 105. Like, if you had a 105-pound server, don't leave it on a shelf like this, because it's the shelf's bowing. The yeah, shelf put is... It on put it on properly. But if you have a 10-pound free NAS... 10, 12 pound free NAS, I, I think that's 20 pound free, 20 NAS, pound free NAS. I think we're good to set it there. So our conclusion from this video, and maybe your conclusion too, is going to be, you didn't measure proper weight, you didn't center it. Um, I, what, are the, what are the other things guys are gonna be in the comments on this of everything well, we did wrong? this is actually, it's centered <laughs> to the shelf, which is how if you had the shelf installed and you were putting things on it, you would have a weight evenly distributed amongst the shelf. So yeah. actually, yes, the shelf was used as intended. Right. So as I stated at the very beginning of this video, not the most scientific method, but we do see what happens when the rack studs fail, the way it sheared them off. I found it kind of interesting to see that level of detail of how they broke. And uh, hey, at least we know what the failure point is and what the failure looks like with the rack studs. And uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. That's, that's more weight than you should ever put on the shelf. I honestly thought the uh, thread portion would fail where just the... Uh the black cap slid off of the threads. Yeah. Uh, it the, did not. It, it doesn't show all the thread. It, it breaks in a different spot. So the less than scientific conclusion is that these will handle 85 pounds as we distributed it in the center of that particular rack shelf. Both of the bottom ones pulled out and snapped, well, pretty much identical. You can't hardly tell which one this goes to, this one or that one. It broke exactly in the same spot. Uh, there's some product consistency there. They sheared the same distance, so I can't tell which one of these is from which. That is definitely... Um, solid the way they sheared off they, as expected in exactly the same spot for the top ones. So our less than perfect science but at least a good understanding is that yes these will hold quite a bit of weight more than weight than you'll probably putting on a shelf and definitely more than most of your switches are going to weigh that you'll be putting these in. So I would conclude that these are still solid to use. I trust them much more than I did at the beginning of the video. I'd like to thank Rack Studs for randomly shipping me a box of these. Uh, they had no influence or idea I was making this video. I did this video because one, I thought it was interesting, and two, you, the audience, seem to think it'd be an interesting idea as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other content or things I should uh, stress test because I don't want anyone's equipment falling um, so I would like, you know, if there's something you need to know related to this, let me know in the comments. Uh, I do read those and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, thank you. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. 
Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.